Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. From today, I'm going to start a new series of JWT authentication and authorization using Node.js as a backend, React as a frontend, and MongoDB as a database. So this is the first part of this series. In this part, I will give you the overview of the project. So let's get started. Let's go to our UI. We have our two components. First one is a login and second one that is a sign up. So let's sign up the new customer with the email zach at the retest.com and here i'm going to add the name and the password that is a zach let's click on this sign up to register the new customer and you can see it's navigating us to the login component let's log in the registered customer and let me add here the password that is a zach let's click on this login and it will navigate us to the dashboard component the navbar is also changed let me log out you can see the navbar for the not logged in users let me log in again the customer and you can see the navbar for the logged in customers in the dashboard component you can see here the table where we are getting all the users from our mongodb so let me log out let's go to our mongodb and let me show you the structure of our users table so you can see here the database that is the jwt underscore db that we are using in our project under this we have a users table and you can see here the structure of our users model where we have a first column id second one that is a name email password role and the jwt token we are also saving the jwt token when user login you can see here the details of the admin where we have a name email password and the role that is an admin and you can see the second customer with the name johan and the role customer i have hard coded the details of the admin because we have only one account of the admin in our project let's go to our ui and let me log in here the admin so the email is admin at the rate test.com and the password that is a admin let's click on this login and you can see it's navigating us to the dashboard component and you can see here the users that we are getting from the database for the ui i have used react bootstrap so this is the overview of the project that we will implement in the upcoming videos i hope you will learn a lot from this series so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care Bye.